I love these two so much, and I know you and all do you. too. We're this is one of the books that they wrote together, The Rabbi and the Secret Message. And you suffered a lot. Stood because up. you ensued persecution because of um, giving your heart to Yeshua, right? It's always difficult for anybody to embrace Jesus as the Messiah anywhere in the world. But especially in Israel, and especially if you're a Jew, you will be persecuted at a level that is very hard for, for me to even explain here on television. Uh, persecution from, uh, from your family members, from society, from friends. You lose your job. If you confess Jesus, if you're not ashamed of the gospel, I'm, I'm not talking about those who are hiding. If you confess Jesus, if you preach the gospel, you will be persecuted at a very, very high level. Let's see what happened to you. That's what happened to me. I lost my job. I lost my family. But praise God, I'm here right now. I can praise his name because we have victory in him. And, and, and again, the demonic realm is trying to suppress the gospel, trying to suppress me. But if we stand firm, we can, we can make we it together. And this, what did your this, mother say to you? My mother told me that a terrorist who blows buses up in Israel is better than me because he is not a traitor and I am. This is coming from my own mother. This is from his own mother. What do you call that? Persecution? It's more than, it's persecution is a gentle word. It's, uh, it's hatred at a level that people cannot understand. And we pray for that, yeah. that more Jews and, and, and nations will come to faith in Messiah Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Because we understand that, that that wasn't my mother speaking. That was the enemy speaking the through her. Speaking through the her. rage, the anger, the spiritual warfare. And how and about your grandfather that died and left you all that money? My grandfather, uh, when he heard that I believe in Yeshua, he disconnected from me. But when he passed away, he left a will. And basically he said, if, if I sign a document uh, renouncing, denying the name of Jesus, he's going to leave me a, a, a giant inheritance. And my grandfather was part of the Sanhedrin. You think about Judas, who was given 30 pieces of silver to betray Yeshua. That was a lot of money. Sanhedrin, I've always been rich. And basically the inheritance was about... 40 million, over 40 million dollars in assets, over one and a half million dollars in cash. And all I had to do was sign that Jesus is not the Messiah. And I said, I will never deny the name of Yeshua. He's the King of Kings. And the attorney turned to me and he said, look, there's nobody here. It's only you, you and I. I don't care what you believe. I'm a businessman. I want my compensation. Sign the document and go believe whatever you want. And I told him, you're wrong. The God of Abraham Isaacs and Jacob is here and he knows everything and he turned to me and he says do you understand what's going to happen if you don't sign and I said yes I'll get eternal life so praise his name see yeah. isn't that yeah. something and you see the thing is he said I am not going to put my name on a document isn't that something? and deny Jesus so that they could they would bring that back on him every time sure he, if would. he was out there preaching Jesus they would say they would put that on the internet yeah. And they would say, yeah, he's a fake. Look, he signed yeah. a document denying Jesus Christ. Yeah. So he knew. Mm -hmm. God gave him wisdom, and he said, I'm not signing anything. Well, the other thing, he's watching. That, well, that's what he said. Well, well, like God will know. You, you think about Aaron's sons, who uh, now they were given uh, unauthorized fire to the Lord. What did the Lord do? He took them out. Took them out. Yep. I believe that if I would have taken that money, I gone. would have been taken out. Yes. Yeah. I, really I believe do. that. I believe that. There's you, tests that come. Yeah. yeah. You'd be surprised. At, uh, that, that testimony is in that book. That's what I wanted to and, say. And he and I teach and preach this. He does when he's here. And when he's not, I speak on his behalf, his testimony. You'd be surprised the number of Christians in America that have come up to him and up to me or read the book and said, oh, man, no, that was stupid. God was trying to give no. him that money, and he turned it down. All he had to do was take the money and then later say, well, I lied. And I said, wait, no, wait, no, no. what a perverted way to think about those scriptures again. and about living for the Lord. God will take you out. They're not sold out. No. Right. And again, the only, way to the, over, money. the only way to overcome that amount of persecution is by the power of the Holy Spirit. We can't do it in the flesh. No. The, the amount of temptation, the amount of what you see. I, I, at that time, I was living on the beach. The whole story, the whole uh, account is in the book. So that, that, that temptation can only be overcome by the power of the blood of the Lamb. Yes, amen. I want them to get a close-up of this. My camera girl down there, get a close-up of this. Um, because this is what the main rabbi, the head rabbi in Israel, before he died, he said, I met the Yeshua, I mean, the Messiah. The Messiah. Mm -hmm. And he left this note encrypted. And 
just quickly tell, we only have a few minutes. Well, he left a note. First of all, he was the most venerated rabbi in the history of Israel until today. He's dead, but his legacy continues in Israel. His teachings continue in Israel. His authority still continues his in Israel today. His pictures are everywhere. His pictures are everywhere. Everybody knows who he is. Everybody loves him. Everybody takes at face value what he had to say. So he left in a decoded format. And, and it's all in the book, how he left it, why he left it. Uh, a note saying that Yeshua or Yehoshua, and they both mean the same, that's also in the book, is the Messiah. It rocked the Western world, the Orthodox movement until today. They're still trying to suppress the story. We're still being persecuted. That book is leading Jews to the written rabbis, word of God, Orthodox rabbis, rabbis and to salvation. To now, there is no revival without the word of God. No. It's all explained in the book, but Jews in general take at face value what the rabbis have to say. They have books that interpret the Bible and books that interpret the books that interpret the Bible. So God <laughs> said, I'm going to have the most venerated rabbi, the top authority, leaving a message that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah. Yeshua is God. And now in Israel, when they come up to us and we show them a Bible scripture and they say, well, I need to go to my rabbi. I say, what about Rabbi Yitzchak Kaduri? And they say, oh, he is the greatest. I say, would you like to see some of his revelation? And they say, yes. We take him to that book. Page 53. Page 53, <laughs> which is not a coincidence, Isaiah 53, page 53. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> we go to that book, and, they, and, they, and he looks at it, and he's shocked. And then he said, that can't be. And then we pull out evidence that he left the note, evidence that it was on his website, evidence that it was taken off. And he wants, and, and the then same they person, they the want to go to the written word of God, and boom, Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God, the power of the Holy Spirit falls upon them, and we're seeing salvation after salvation after salvation. All glory to Yeshua. We've been talking this whole segment that books are not the authority, but if books tell you what the Word of God says and guide you to the Word of God, then that's okay, and that's what this book does. Yes. It's not only about the story. It's all, we've also got Word documents there. We've got uh, uh, historical documents there, how to witness to Jews, the alphabet, yeah, the, the meaning of the name Yehoshua. There's so much in this book. If you, you can use it to Pre learn how to pray yeah. for Israel. Preachers you can use it how to them. witness to Israel. You can use it in your church. You can use it to give it to a non-believer. There's so much in, the, in this book that can be used for now and for the future uh, to understand about Israel, to understand about the culture, but most of all to understand the days that we're living at in the end time to equip the saints yeah. Yeah. to make it yeah. to the end. It's just great just to give an going. anecdotal understanding, just a couple of months ago, he was in Ashdod, down along the coast. I know who it is, yeah, yeah. Okay. The chief rabbi of Ashdod saw him down there witnessing the people and stuff, and came down and said, "What are you doing?" And he told him, he "said What do you here represent? I represent the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob." And he said, "Okay, well, what are you doing?" So anyway, Zeb asked him about some scripture and stuff and, Isaiah, and, and, and yeah Isaiah 53 and the, and the rabbi said well that's that's you know we, that's not Jewish and he said well ah, do you do you believe that uh, Rabbi Kaduri was Jewish oh yeah he said I studied under him I went to his yeshiva his, I, I teach his literature I teach his literature and he said really he said let me show you something and he opened that and showed him that and the rabbi freaked out and he said how come I don't know this I've never seen that so Zev tells him the whole story the rabbi says we need to sit down they sat down for over three hours explaining this story showing him the documentation then the rabbi wanted to see the scriptures he took him to the scriptures the rabbi gave his life to you praise Yeshua. the it Lord it gets better it gets better <laughs> that's what it's the, all about the chief rabbi gave his life to Yeshua it took hours but he stayed with him the whole day started with that book then it went to the book, the Word of God. Yes. Then the Holy Spirit comes in. Then the man says, I'm giving my life to Yeshua. Zev wasn't trying to talk him out of it, but of course not. But he wanted to warn him because he's been through it. And he yeah. told him, he says, you do know you're going to have to give up your synagogue. You do know you're going to have to give up your yeshiva and everything that you're a part of. You do know that you're a Jew. Now you're a completed Jew. You don't have to give up your Jewishness. But you can no longer hold to the orthodoxy. Now your faith is in Yeshua HaMashiach. Can't serve two masters. And he said, I understand it. That was a couple months ago. Right now, he's resigned his, his synagogue. He's resigned Yeshiva. He is now discipling and studying. He's sharing his faith in Yeshua with his friends and family or people who will listen to him. And, and we're equipping him to, to, open to, preach. A, to, to preach and to open a... Uh, 
a, uh, a house group, you know, for other Orthodox yeah. Jews in his area yeah. as we're continuing to expand. And it all so. started with that book and that note. So God continues to use this message, and it's not, it doesn't end. As we're speaking right now, we can actually write another book. There's so much things going on. <sighs> Isn't that wonderful? It's unbelievable, yeah. Dorothy, well, I can't I love you thank you so enough much. for having us on. You're so sweet, and I, I love our theological discussions. Oh, I do too. That's so, how you, iron sharp that's right, iron. That's, that's right. how you get to know. But you're so Amen. kind to have us, and uh, we, we love being here with you and your audience. Oh, we love yeah, having thanks. you. You're the smartest two people. Uh, well, I'm telling you, I love it. Sweet. And this, you got to have this book, because I have shown this to so many Jewish friends. I'm going to take this and give it to our guide. He's a Jewish guide. Good. And I talked to him, Good. but now I will give him this book. Yeah. Encourage him to read it from front to back because it builds as it goes, yeah. and then it eventually gets to showing the Jew, Jewish person mm-hmm. how, now that they see what Kaduri said, now how they can come to Christ. Yeah. So they need to read it from beginning to end. That's right. Amen. And yeah. then he can make up his mind. Can if he reads it from beginning mind. to end and says, I don't want to believe it, that's, that's between right. him and God. The rabbi, the that's secret right. message and the identity of the Messiah but it's no longer a secret. That's right. No. <laughs> they tried to walk, they tried to take it off the internet. Yes. And Ooh. you guys had a copy of Deep it. Deep state and fake news in Israel is worse than it is in the United States. <laughs> I mean, it's it's, it's the, not an American it's about, invention. It's about the same. <laughs> the, it, it's it's just as bad in Israel as it is in the United States. Yeah. In case you hadn't heard the beginning of the program, uh, Netanyahu was up on charges. You've probably all heard about that. But they were all fake, just like it is with our president today. And it's just the enemy trying to take these two men out so that they can do what the enemy wants to do, what he wants to do. But we have to pray for both of them. Uh, Pray that he gets his coalition. How many is he away from there? Well, 61 coalitions you need for each side. And right now he needs, he's about 57 right now. So he's getting there. If he doesn't manage to time-wise to make it, we're going to go to the third election. We believe if it does go to a third election, he's going to demolish the leftists because they're seeing all this fake news, everything. They can't beat him at the ballot, so they're trying to beat him in the underworld. This way. This way. It's not going to happen. He's going to continue to, uh, to be the prime minister of Israel. The Bible is clear in the book of Romans. All government is established by God. Oh God. That's everything. And that's why we believe he's going to win, and especially because we see that he can't be, that they can't beat him at the ballot. Uh-uh. And he will form a coalition. Depend, it's a, it's a matter of time when and how. Yeah. And so you pray for that, that he will be able to get that done, that they don't have to go to a third election. I think your election process is really bad, if you want to know the truth. It started out good because it started out at a pure nation. It started out where people were honest with each other. The system was good. And then slowly, slowly, people started to abuse it and use it in, in the wrong way. And, and it looks not good now, but uh, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing in the United States. Think oh. about it. Think about our history. Look at, look at if, now, if you do not wrote, vote righteously, you say, well, I heard him say these bad words the other night. Yeah, Trump says words. But I want to tell you this, he's done more for the Christians than any other president has and will continue to do that. If um, the other side comes in, it's socialism. They hate Israel. They're going to try to take Israel down. And they want to put more Arabs. And, they and want we're to not against the Arabs, Arabs but the terrorists yes. in the government. Terrorists into your government. You talk yes. about open borders. That's like open borders. Yeah. So we just have to pray for Israel, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Bible says that uh, he'll get blessed if you pray for them and pray yes. for our president Amen. Thank you. and that he'll be covered in these hard days. Amen. Thank you, but Dorothy. He is not guilty. They couldn't find him guilty. Isn't that That's something? Right. Netanyahu That's right. and the same thing with our president. Amen. Well, thank you guys. Thank I you. love you Thanks so much. You, you, know had, you had the Mueller report, Ooh. right? Was the Mueller report, is that the name? Yes. Yeah. But Yeshua had his report. That's yeah. right. The Yeshua <laughs> report. report. Will you believe? We'll see you <laughs>